I appreciate that. <laughs> and then what she said was on the end of the list is how you speak in order. And I just went out and signed the sign in chief. Well, I know everybody on this committee, and my name is Glenn Gregory. Uh, I'm a licensed architect here in Valdosta. I was born in Valdosta in the Little Griffin Hospital in 1950. And uh, we were fortunate to get a uh, historic uh, residence and make it our office, and we've had that there for 20 years now. Uh, it it uh, has served us very well, and we're out on North Patterson Street. We have been very, very fortunate in the success of our practice being grown up around here. Uh, in doing that, we give back to the community with some historic preservation efforts and all. And I don't know if y'all remember this, but the, the museum, the 1913 Carnegie Library was all the time showing up in the paper that water was leaking into the basement and Mike Payne was the one that come down and begged money from the county commissioners. So I decided we needed help and we did and it finally wound up bringing Harold uh, Ben in the end and we called him the bag man because he'd go around and get money from everybody. But we've had some great times in, with the Roberts house as well and I saw about saw this uh, advertisement about y'all's meeting and I saw I did a little bit of checking this afternoon. By the way, we have done all the work on the First Baptist Church, uh, including taking out all the stained glass and, and replacing it and putting it back in. Uh, and now we're still working over there for some expansion. A lot of our work has been in the historic district, so we are sensitive uh, to the historic district. Uh, I got energized on it, so I started calling people. I thought one of them was Bill McKinney the president of VSU. And I wanted to confirm, and he said it was okay if I presented that tonight, that he's definitely still interested in it. I know he's been there about a year ago, he said. But I've been working with him on several different projects, so I know some needs out at VSU that, that uh, could possibly fit uh, with that. Another one I've talked to is Jason Shaw, our uh, representative, the Georgia legislature. And I asked Jason about possibly bringing some state offices down here, locating them in South Georgia. And he said, that's a real good idea. And he was calling the governor's office this afternoon. Now that may not pan out very much, but uh, there are state offices located in other communities around there. Just like Tifton, for instance, has got a secretary of state office up there. And so that's, that to me is, is something that could work out real nicely with the courthouse. Uh, another one I talked to is Judge uh, John uh, Kent Edwards. And of course, he's our public defender uh, here in these five county, five county area. And uh, he is interested in uh, some space in there and would like to occupy uh, space in that courthouse. Now he currently is a, he's a renter at another building location. And, but he's particularly, he's a hometown boy. He's particularly happy about the possibility of his organization contributing to the uh, viability of, of the courthouse. Uh, and that's just a, one afternoon, okay? I mean, there, there's, some, there's a lot of potential here. And my point being is this is not going to be a simple solution. It is a complex solution. It will take time, and it's, it's something that you have to, work on and then look at, see if it all fits together and then take the next step. But it's a progressive thing and it could take you some time. I mean, you, you could be working on this for a year easily to figure out what fits. And, and to me, what fits is gonna be a combination of different uses. And some uses are not gonna be suitable. Uh, some uses, people aren't interested. Uh, so. But it's, it is uh, a process that we do. I mean, we do it all the time with different communities. And you have to build on it. You have to work a little bit here, look at it, let people um, digest it, uh, see if everything fits, and then you take the next step. And there's nothing wrong with phasing this project. I mean, it may take, a, it may take this first phase to get it where it ought to be after you assess all the roof and the air conditioning and electrical. Uh, 
particularly those windows over there. I mean, those windows, bless their heart, they tried to do something over there, but they ruined uh, a big character statement about that courthouse when they put those aluminum windows in there with insulated glass. I mean, that's, that's bad. But I commend you for heading in the right direction on this. Thank you for getting public input. Uh, so many times, uh, people don't get public input, and this is good for the community to be part of y'all's solution. And thank you very much. Thank you, Glenn. Any questions for the committee? One thing I can let you know, and Glenn touched on this, uh, when the courtroom was renovated and uh, brought back to, to its class, I think it was 1988, I believe is right, but uh, at that time, the north window uh, of the courtroom was also that beautiful aluminum that you talked about, Greg. Man, I mean, and uh, Bracey Lumber Company and Thomas Fell was able to go back and take an old photograph of that window. And they renovated and replaced the wood and the oak paneling and molding and that sort of thing, which brought it back to its original uh, status and original use. So that has been.